Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next video from sections 1, 3, and 1, 4. We're going to be asked to find the equation of the horizontal line through a particular point, and then we're going to be asked to find the equation of a vertical line through a particular point. Okay? Now, here's the deal. Here's what I want you to remember. First of all, both of these uh, questions really involve no work. So that's kind of nice, because how often in math do I say you don't have to show work? A horizontal line obviously looks like this, okay? And if I take this horizontal line and I move it up a little bit, it looks like this. And if I move it up a little bit more, it looks like this, and so on, okay? And notice what's changing. Remember, whenever I go, this should remind you, I'm going from bottom to top. Whenever I'm going from bottom to top, I'm finding the range, correct? So horizontal lines moving from bottom to top have to do with finding the range. And what value is range? Well, I hope you know range is y. So anytime somebody wants you to find a hor a, an equation of a horizontal line, they're just having you look at the line y equals, and in this particular case, we ignore the number 5 because that's an x value, y would be negative 2. So my answer to this problem, really without any work, the equation of a horizontal line through this point, the answer is y equals negative 2. And that will always be the case. Horizontal lines will always be y equals, and then you go to an ordered pair on the line, and you pick the y value to put here, and you totally ignore the x value. Okay, next question, find the equation of a vertical line. Well, a vertical line looks like this. And if I moved it over a little bit, it would look like this, and so on. Well, if I'm going from left to right, which is what I did here, if I'm moving from left to right, you know that what I'm really doing there is I'm finding the domain. So this is just sort of a way of helping you remember. A vertical line moving from left to right, we're finding the domain. What value is involved in domain? Well, that would be x. So anytime the line is vertical, your equation is going to be x equals. You go to the ordered pair in question. You ignore the y value because on a vertical line, the only value that matters is x. In this case, the answer would be x equals negative 3. So the way I like my students to remember horizontal line equations and vertical line equations, horizontal line if you, if you start a horizontal line and go up, you know, like keep drawing more horizontal lines, you're going from bottom to top, that's range, and that would be y equals whatever the y value is. If it's a vertical line, you're finding the equation of, draw a vertical line, move over a little bit. As you're moving from left to right, you're finding domain. Domain is the x value, x equals whatever the x value of this point is. And we're done. So those two types of problems never require any work. It just requires this little bit of thinking that hopefully I've put in your brain now. Okay, we're done with that part.